What's up, Huntington Beach? Welcome to The Rec Report. As always, I'm your host, Scott Getman. And I'm Molly Mura. Today, Molly and I are fortunate enough to be hanging out at the beautiful Norma Gibbs Butterfly Park. During this episode, we're going to be talking a little bit about this park, reminding you about one of our really cool special events that happens every May, and also teaching you a little bit about our two sister cities, Anjo, Japan, and Manly, Australia. We hope you continue to tune in every month to see how parks make life better and enhance the quality of life in Huntington Beach. Today, Scott and I are enjoying a beautiful Surf City Day here at Norma Gibbs Butterfly Park. And I can't think of a better place to spend this afternoon. This park here was named in honor of former mayor Norma Gibbs. It's located in northwest Huntington Beach in between Warner and Heil on Graham Street. It affords a wonderful opportunity for families to enjoy the lush butterfly habitat that's created here. The park was recently renovated in 2008 and it was a joint effort by the City of Huntington Beach, Boeing Company, the HB Tree Society, Home Depot and many community volunteers. We hope that you and all your families can take some time this spring to come out and enjoy all of the physical, mental, social and environmental health benefits that a beautiful park like this provides. You know Molly, a year ago today we were at another beautiful park filming and that's because every May we have one of our coolest special events, the old fish and hole fishing derby. This year the event is going to be on Friday, May 19th. Over a hundred special needs students from the Huntington Beach School District have been invited to spend a morning fishing at the lake and hanging out with their peers. The fishing itself takes place from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. and as always we have to say a big thank you to the Kiwanis Club which provides lunch to all of the people fishing there. There's going to be prizes awarded for smallest fish, largest fish and the classroom that catches the most fish. And you know, Scott, one of the most exciting things about this event is that everything is provided for the students to come out and learn about the sport of fishing. The California Department of Fish and Wildlife is generous enough to bring loner rods and bait to give the kids an opportunity to catch a bunch of fish in the morning. And like Scott mentioned, we have to thank the Kiwanis Club because they bring a fabulous lunch for all of the students and all of the volunteers. So thank you, California Fish and Wild Club. If you have more questions or want more info on this event, be sure to contact the Community Services Department. Did you know that Huntington Beach has two sister cities, Anjo, Japan, and Manly, Australia? This interaction of people, not governments, was created to foster an understanding of culture and promote peace. To learn more about our sister city program, recreation leader Emily Richards recently sat down with Chris Cole, our specific event supervisor. Let's hear what they had to say. Hi Scott, hi Molly. Today I'm here with Chris Cole, the specific event supervisor and staff liaison for the Sister City Association of Huntington Beach. How are you today, Chris? I'm doing very well, thank you for having me. What is the Sister City Association and how was it started? Well, the mission of the Sister City Association is to continue uh, the work of the original um, adapters of the program and it was formed in 1982 to uh, foster re the relationships that we currently have, to promote goodwill between the cities in the program to help facilitate student exchanges that we have with our sister city and to also uh, just be uh, good ambassadors to our visitors when they come to tour Huntington Beach and to just uh, help propel uh, the community pride and spirit that Huntington Beach has and to translate that to our sister cities across the world. What cities are sister cities to Huntington Beach? Well, for 35 years now, uh, it's been with Anjo, Japan. And then for several years, we had a sister city with Watikari, uh, New Zealand and that city was actually absorbed in a big kind of county merger. We lost that city. So when that kind of uh, fell off the, the plate, we were able to jump in with a relationship with Manly, Australia. Uh, those are two kind of completely opposite uh, relationships. So Japan being very different culture, uh, there's a lot to learn in differences between the two cities, where Manly, Australia is very much like us, almost like two cities that were separated at birth. So we have two different uh, ends of the spectrum between relationships between those two cities. I've heard that Manly Australia is also referred to as Surf City and hosts the Australian Open of Surfing every year. Now how does that relationship positively impact our own surfing events and culture? Well, you know, as you said, we are Surf City USA. Well, the U.S. Open of Surfing is one of our marquee events in Huntington Beach. Uh, it is known as the world's largest surf and action sports event and it draws people from all over the world. It's a huge economic stimulus for the city and it has tremendous uh, branding value for what we call you know, the brand of Huntington Beach. And so how that relationship developed is that the company that actually hosts the U.S. Open of Surfing was looking for 
uh, a similar city in Australia to kind of bring that wonderful package of a professional global surf contest into the Australian market. And they came across a manly Australia because it resembles Huntington Beach extensively with its easy access, its great beaches, um, its consistent surf, its amenities such as hotels and hospitality. And when they proposed to have the first Australian Open of Surfing in Manly, Australia, the city council and the mayor from Manly came to pay us a visit to learn about what the U.S. Open of Surfing is. They wanted to know what they signed up for. What, what is this? That was the beginning of their friendship with Manly. They trademarked the name uh, Surf City Australia. They hosted the first Australian Open of Surfing. And we've been uh, sister cities ever since. And so what that does for us, it, it helps to promote both our surf contest that is also a huge economic driver. So our surf contest brings people from all over the world, and so does Manly Australia's. So through the sport of surfing and action sports, uh, we are able to cross-promote our cities, cross-promote our cultures, and to, uh, dr to drive interest and brand awareness between our two cities. And if our viewers are interested in learning more about the Sister City Association, who should they contact? Well, they're always welcome to contact myself up here at City Hall, uh, also under that general heading of boards and commissions on our city's website, there is a link for inquiry to not only serve on the Sister City Association, but also on the other various boards and commissions that we have here. And something that's really new that's coming up this year to celebrate our 35th anniversary of our relationship with Anjo is that our mayor is actually leading a delegation of people from Huntington Beach to travel to Anjo. And that will be taking place in October. And so if people are interested in that, they can also go to the city's website and learn about that. It's completely self-funded. It's not funded by the city in any way. So those who are interested would pay their own way and join us as we carry our community spirit over to Anjo. Well, thank you for talking to me today about the Sister City Association. I really enjoyed having you here. Thank you very much. It's been a pleasure. Scott and Molly, back to you. Wow, that is some very interesting information about our two sister cities. I don't know about you, but I would love to visit Anjo, Japan. Anjo, Japan does sound amazing, but I'm an HB girl, so I think I'd like to visit Manly, Australia. Okay, I'll give it to you. It would be really cool to see Surf City. Australia. Well, Surf City, Huntington Beach, that's all we have for you for the month of May. We hope you enjoy Memorial Day and get to get out and enjoy this beautiful spring and soon to be summer weather. We'll see you here next month where we show you just what the Community Services Department is doing to enrich the quality of life here in Huntington Beach. Until next time, remember, parks, parks make, make life, life better. better.